What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Kara and I were just discussing finances and how much of these two cost us every single month. Oh my god, it is a fortune and not even exaggerating. And now they want to play. Do you want to give them uh, their ball so they have something to play with? Yeah. Happy Easter by the way everyone. Get it. How many Jolly Balls do we go through a year? Uh, four, five. four to six four I'd to say. Six. Maybe more now with just us in there too. We figured we would just share with you how much we spend on the dogs. Which you always told me before we got another dog, you're like, it's gonna be expensive. That was one of the deterrents from getting another dog. And I was kind of like, how much more expensive can it really be? We're already paying for one dog. Which I don't understand. I never understood that. I'm like, Double, <laughs> like double, because there's two of them. We do have some less waste though with food. A little bit, we just give it to the other dog. Right. And he's like, <laughs> smush you with my paw. Crush, crush, crush. Crush, 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 crush. So what I did quickly, because I want to share this with you guys, just to give you guys like an idea of us to own these dogs. Remember, we feed a raw diet. You don't have to feed your dog a raw diet. Yeah. You like the shirt? These are I'm, 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 these are done soon. The Ooh. grunge collection is done soon. So if you like any of the grunge collection designs like this one. I like that one a lot. Make sure you uh, check out the merch box down below and get yourself one. This is my favorite part where JJ oh. just lays down. And I'm not sure. I, I didn't like, officially tell them about the Bruce Wayne project. Oh, we we're should mention that. raising money to donate to local shelters. Well, shelters across the world is the goal, but we're starting locally. There's only one left. As uh, of this really? Morning. I made oh. an NFT of Bruce, and it's like literally uh, the world's first Kane Corso NFT. I'm donating 100% of the proceeds to a local shelter, and I'd like to be able to keep doing this and just, you know, this like is like that. a small start. Yeah. And I'd like to keep building this, the Bruce Wayne project. He's a legend already, and like I just kind of want to help dogs and like have his memory live on forever for like years and years and years and years and years. Me too. Right? Um, so it's called the Bruce Wayne Project. <laughs> I had 10 NFTs, limited to 10 only, one of a kind. One of my favorite pictures I took of Bruce Wayne, which I did some graphic work on it, which is part of the Grunge Collection shirt. Yeah. Not the design I'm wearing right now. We sold nine. I haven't checked since 6 a.m., so that last one may be sold. If not, I'd super appreciate it if you could purchase that NFT because 100% of the proceeds are going to go to um, a local shelter here in Syracuse. That's where we're starting. Spring, the company that is run through takes a certain percent. Totally understand that because this is run through blockchain, so they have to pay money. They have to pay web developers, they have to pay coders and all this stuff. So it does cost them money to be able to run this. But yeah, we can't do that stuff, so someone's that. gotta do it. So like literally every penny I make from it <laughs> um, is, do is being donated. And I'm gonna show you guys in video so everyone knows it's legit and stuff. I feel like they just <laughs> flew over here. Did you see that? <laughs> Justice was growling so loud last oh night. Oh my gosh, it, sound it, like sounded, you're, it sounded like Bruce. I was like, is that Bruce? And Bruce wasn't even in the room. He's getting that deep growl. Yeah. He's kind of guardy. He is, yeah. He thought he saw something outside last night. And the night before, it freaked me out because I was on the couch alone and all of a sudden he's like, Harrr. starts growling out there. Like, what do you see? And unfortunately, <laughs> you guys are stuck watching them play indoors because this is a rainy day out in Syracuse. AKA mud paws. Yeah, mud paws. Horrible <laughs> mud paws. He's like, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Here, I'll give you the phone so you okay. can have a list. Because list, right. I listed it all out for you guys. Cause... It's going to differ depending. You may not do everything exactly like how we do. So, like, you want to start with the food? Because that's. We'll start with the food last. We'll do the food last. Last? Okay. Last. This is how much it costs to own two Kane Corsos and, like, just things you guys can expect. And I'm taking away the cost of the actual dog. I'm taking right. away, like, all the vet bills from the from like puppyhood, like yeah. their initial shots and stuff, cause that's quite pricey. Right. So I'm taking away that and just like, you know. The standard routine the standard. stuff. So why don't we start, why don't we start with um, daycare? Yeah, so we daycare. take- Daycare. What, them to daycare once a week? So both. for the most part, we do try to aim for once a week, both dogs, so that's four times a month for two dogs. And it's actually cheap. We go to a daycare that she's extremely affordable. I've never seen anyone that cheap before, especially for two large dogs. $20 a dog, $40 a day, 
So 160 bucks for the month. And we may vary from that. Like Jason may take justice alone sometimes. So we could potentially have that go up to 200 a month. It, it's gonna vary yeah, because, between 100 to $200 yeah, a month. Because if we took justice alone, they would still go together later in the week. Right, so there could be some additional costs yeah. there. So that just kind of depends on if you guys do daycare or not, which we are true believers they need it. Like Bruce is five and we've been taking him pretty much his whole life to daycare since he was a, a puppy. All right, next up, so this is another variable one depending on if you guys do this or not, but we get insurance for both the dogs and they're actually both insurance through two, two different companies. And actually, can I just need to interject here. Get insurance for your dog, guys. Yeah. If something happens to a large breed dog, like it's already way more expensive mm -hmm. because of the size of them. So if your dog needs medication, which is covered by insurance, it's way more than a 50 pound dog. It's way more than a 20 pound dog because yeah. they need more medication. So if your dog has surgery, it's usually typically more expensive as well. So please don't go fund me and wait for something to happen and then go fund mm -mm. me. Um, take the necessary precautions because you don't want to be sitting there being, okay, I can't afford this surgery. So do I put my dog to sleep? Or do I try to figure out how to raise five or six grand, it's a 10 bad grand spot for a surgery? To be. Not a good spot to be in. And I always like to tell people, don't rush to get a Corso. If, you, if it's not, if you yeah. can't afford it right now, there's no shame in that. If you're not ready with your training, there's no shame in that. The, the, the breed's always gonna be here, right? So don't rush to get it. Just have everything in place first. The Just, argument against insurance, if I can say, because of the high monthly cost, I've heard people say, well, instead of just doling out this money every single month, I'll just, I'd rather just set it aside. But who who actually does set it aside and doesn't dip into it, you right. know? And That's if, the thing. Want, if, if they have an ACL surgery, minimum six grand. Five, five to six grand. grand. Minimum. Yeah. So are you gonna actually have that saved up? Correct. Like, are you really gonna set it aside? Or are you just saying that you're gonna get complacent? Yeah. So it's just, for us, it, it makes more sense to have dog insurance. So they're each a different cost because of their age, but altogether we pay about $260 a month to have these dogs insured, which is, I think we have them at 80 or 90% um, reimbursement rate. Okay, okay. So Bruce, we'll rather play with the ball, just as rather bite him in our <laughs> Um, Typical. Can you break it down per dog for me? Like, okay, so his care handles like the insurance stuff. Yep. So Bruce, like he started out the same cost as Justice. So Justice, I pay about a hundred dollars a month right now for him, and Bruce Wayne is about a hundred and fifty dollars a month. But Bruce did start about eighty, ninety dollars, and it's gone up over the years. So I anticipate that this cost, unfortunately, and you can as well, the cost for insurance isn't gonna go down, you guys. It's just gonna keep going up throughout the life of the dog. Every single month. Right? Every, single every year. Every year, typically, to be, expected. Every to be expected. To be expected, yep. The next one. So next one, and we encourage you guys to do this too, this is flea tick medicines. Yes. Some people get lazy about it. So we use some Pyrrhic and Trio, and it's like the first one, wouldn't you say it's the first one we've ever used with, we couldn't use it English, or we didn't have that available with English Bulldog. Right. We had like the topical one, and um, that always makes them feel sick. And yes. they also make Bruce feel sick. Yeah. We switched to some pure Catrino, which is flea tick and heartworm, and it's like a, like a liver, like, pill that they chew chewable. Straight on wrestling mode. I know. Bruce just like. I don't want to be in the middle of this. <laughs> Um, we use some chair. Grab the ball. Come on, guys. guys, ball, ball. Play with Justice. Get the ball. That's correct, Justice. Keep spinning. Um, so, some here, Catrio. Did you say how much it is? Uh, let's see. About $100 a month you have down right now? Yep. And that's going to go up to what? 130 when Justice hits 100 pounds. Yeah, so. Bruce is like 65, Jeff is a little bit cheaper right now. I have Lyme disease personally, and it's something you do not want. Um, I do not want my dogs to have it. It's a horrible thing. We live in a high tick area too. That's what I was gonna say. Okay, sorry. So I follow, what is it, CNY Lyme Alliance, and they post like when they test ticks. I think they tested like 900 ticks here, and like 80% were infected with uh, Lyme disease. So be very careful. It's a real thing. 
All right, so supplements for the dogs. We do have them on a raw diet, but we do, we've do we used supplements with all our dogs. Yeah, we've always had them on a multi. And a and joint glu glucosamine. And I'm not going to give you the brand. I've talked about it before, but truth be told, I don't know if glucosamine is helping them. They don't have any like joint ailments right now. So it's almost like an insurance policy, just yeah. like the multi. Yeah, it's, it's not hurting them, policy. but hopefully and, it's helping. You know, I do give them fish oil. Um, and if you watch my last video, uh, check that out about tips on what to choose for fish oil. Like, I don't give specific brands because I'm not associated with any of them, but just things to look out for in fish oil. Um, so how much is that? So we feed, so about seventy five bucks a month. And you know what? I didn't put the fish oil in there. So no, you didn't. That uh, like, yeah, fish oil. So like up to about one hundred and five. We have miscellaneous things such as Jolly toys. Um, we have to replace those. Things like treats, um, treat. shampoo, yeah, just like things like stuff that, that. That randomly comes up. It's not like a one-time buy. It's you have to like replace a, it periodically. Not a big cost. But no, we like we average about thirty bucks a month. We said some people would. I some people buy their dogs toys every time they go to the store. We're not those people. That cost so not. So like yeah, we didn't. I didn't break it down with his initial like shots and all that because it was like four vet visits because he was sensitive, so we broke it up. So we average it to what about fifty bucks a month? Yeah. Even though they don't go every month. No. You know when you go, right. it's like a hundred to two hundred bucks. So right. We just average it at fifty bucks a month. Right. Um, and then there's food, right? And then we have food. Yes. And food is between one thousand and twelve hundred per month. It's a lot. It's That's a where lot. we're feeling it for sure. And he's not even eating as much as he's going to in the future. Right. He doesn't eat as much as he did growing. It's, you know, it drops when they hit like more, when they get bigger and they don't need the calories as much when they're full grown. You can vary how much you pay. Um, if you feed raw, you know, it doesn't necessarily going to be the same amount that we pay. Some people, like we were starting at a co-op, and it was much cheaper. Yes. Like the quality of the meat was like 3D, 4D meat. You guys don't know what that means. It means it's like meat from either a dying or dead animal. And they don't tell you why. Did it die of old age? Is it always yeah. that case? Yeah. It is. is. It disease, oh. That's why it dies. And well, that's why it's not human grade. I understood what that was. I'm like, F this. I don't, I don't like the idea. If I can't eat it, I don't want them to eat it. I mean, I know we don't eat raw meat, but you know what I'm saying? Like if it's not. Yeah. So, acceptable for humans. So we feed organic grass-fed, grass-finished, and it's actually cheaper, believe it or not, than what it would cost us to buy non-organic in a grocery store because we go to a farmer. And she gives us like a really good deal because of the fact we order in bulk. Um, and we're still paying 1,000 to 1,200 per month. Um, we do get some stuff in the grocery store. We have like, to, you know, yeah. She's a small farmer, so for example, she's out of what right now? Good turkey. boys, turkey. yes. You know, turkey is like a- Turkey, yep. So, uh, August to November thing, then she doesn't really have it again. So right. Like you've been getting him turkey in the grocery store. Um, he's getting tired now. It's funny because Justice always tires out before Bruce. Mm -hmm. Bruce will go all day just like, I'm good, girl, I'm tired. He's like, no, you will play and you're going to be extra tired. So he will. Me when I want to He'll make sure he's done. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then what else do we get from the farmer? All our organ meat. We try to get all organs. Duck. Yeah. Chicken. Um, JJ does very well on chicken so far. Yeah. That is the total cost in the dogs per month. And do you want to tell everyone what that adds up to be per the year? final cost? So the, the cost per month and the cost per year. The total cost per month, the total cost per year. Total cost per month ends up being approximately $1,925, which gives us about a yearly cost of $22,863. Yikes. Still cheaper than human kids. Yes. <laughs> Yikes. But we don't have kids. Everyone thinks we're rich because of how much we pay for the dogs. I'm like, oh, really? bros. No. Brolette. Is brolette's a word? I've been trying to figure that out. <laughs> I've I don't never want to leave heard. Out. I've never heard that I, word. I say bro all the time, so I don't want to make them feel left out. <laughs> Broettes. Um, we're far from rich, guys. We are far from rich. We, you know, she works a full time job. We just try to be smart with our money. We have a bunch of side hustles. Yeah. You know, we have YouTube. We each have YouTube. So we. we we're literally working nonstop. Anybody can look rich. It doesn't mean they are. It doesn't mean yes. they're not in debt. It doesn't mean well, they're good with their money. Your house too. I'm like, oh my god, your house is beautiful. 
it looks nicer in camera than it does in person. You think so? I think it looks nicer in person. Um, but it's not very big. It's no. not even 1,700 square feet, guys. What you see is what you get, pretty much. Yeah. But also, hey, you know, hey. we don't live in like California where this house would be like a million dollars. Yeah, we live in the country, so it you know? helps. <laughs> so we're just smart with our money. You know, we try to, we're not in any debt at all. Um, so... You know, we can spend it on the dogs. And We're also try. not 20 years old. You know, student loans are paid off. Yeah, you know, we've, you know, we've worked our whole entire life. Yeah. So I multiple and jobs. We're still working. We're still working Correct. basically multiple jobs. So just to give you guys an idea of like how much it costs to like own these guys because it's not cheap. Um, big dogs just aren't cheap to own. You know, it's just like horses. Yeah. Some people love horses. I used to work with a woman who um, I always talk about Bruce to her. This is before like YouTube and. Uh, she'd always talk about her horses to me, and oh my god. Wicked oh, expensive. my god. Like, the amount of money she had to pay for her horses, like, just upkeep and care, you know? But she loves her horses, so, yep. like, if people don't understand that, like, oh, you're so stupid to spend all that money, it's like, right. you only live once. I'd rather do what you love. put my money into my dogs because I love them and I want right. them to have a good life. Bros, I'm not justice. <laughs> he just, can steal it. He's like, oh wait, this is my chance to wiggle around with this ball in my mouth. Maybe Bruce won't see me. All right, guys. Thanks for all the love and support. Thanks for everything you do for Kara and myself appreciate and Bruce Wayne and Joey Justice. Super appreciate you guys. Everything I'm associated with down in the description box below. There's a bunch of amazing training courses down there. If you use the links with code Jason, you do save 10%. We'll just redid the... Uh, the canine boot camp course and it's even better than it was it's life-changing merch down below my ebook down below and the nft as well there's only one left and if whoever gets it if like you're a viewer here please like comment because i like to you know i i like to recognize the people that like yeah. support us and like you know helping other animals and like i said if this is if i can sell all 10 of these within a few days like i'm one shy of three days um I'd love to keep doing like donations like this, like just come maybe like a t-shirt one time right. where, all, where all the proceeds go to um, an animal shelter. Did you tell them what the shelters, you're making sure you know exactly what the proceeds go yeah, to I as want, well? I wanna know how, like, I'm gonna how ask it's gonna them. be used. Yeah, cause it'll be about $700 with all 10 sold. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, I wanna know how the proceeds are gonna be used before I like pick an actual shelter, but I'm going local first. Um, there's going to be plenty more options for more later. So until next time, Bruce Wayne, Joey Justice, Kara Corey, myself, we'll see you later. Peace.